we go, here we go. First person with the sit down. Got my man's Joe Gino, S AKA Super Vito. What up, dude? What's the deal, my guy? What's the deal, my baby? How you feeling? How you feeling? Good, my nigga, you know. I hear that, I hear everything, that. Man. Everything, everything. So, um, let's let's start from the beginning, man. Let's talk about the upgrading, bro. We, obviously, you know we from Detroit. Um, what side in particular, with neighborhood and everything? Shit, I was born like uh, West Side, Dexter area, shit like that. Uh, I was raised on the East Side, Houston, Whittier, Grasher, shit like that. So kind of like a little bit. You got both parts, East and West, is growing up and everything. So, yeah. What's the difference to you? Since you know you grew up and everything from the east and west, is it a difference or you can't really tell at all? It's like when you from somewhere, you gonna think the other side different anyway, bro. Like on some real shit, you gonna think the other side is different when cause you from you from this shit, you feel me? But it's a little tiny bit different, I'd say, but I can't really pinpoint where it's different at, you know. I feel like it's the same same type of niggas everywhere. Like you gonna have a nigga like this over here, a nigga like that over here. You got shit. It's so much shit up in common with both sides. So it's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. For all sure. that shit people say about the east side and the west side, that shit really be like ignorant shit. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause it, it, to me, it's like I've been around both like sides just growing up and stuff, and it's like both be on the same shit, same activities, same lingo, the same you know knowledge and everything. You and know, the same shit get you fucked up on both sides. Yeah, like you know, it's it's like West Side niggas look at East Side niggas be on some wild dirty shit, mm -hmm. and West I mean East Side niggas look at us or well, West Side niggas the same way. Mm -hmm. Like it's actually East Side niggas be like, hey, yeah. but them West Side niggas be on some bullshit, bro. We gotta get the fuck up out of here on that, you know, don't on certain go, parts and yeah, shit. Yeah, certain niggas don't want to go to that side and shit. Certain niggas comfortable with. Yeah. Now you want to go to the west. Now you want to go to the east. Like you know, mm -hmm. most definitely, most definitely. So what? Um, what, what? What was like your um influences like just growing up be prior to rap and everything? Like shit that. Oh, like my influences growing up made me want to rap or shit that I looked up to before rap. Just before rap, you know, before rap. Before rap, I was like, I don't lie. Before rap, I was just regular ass kid like. You school. grew up like a um, single parent home, mm. only sibling, or? That shit was both. That shit was both for sure. Like, <laughs> that shit was both for sure, for sure. Shit, like, I grew up basically parents in the crib together, boom, break up. Boom, they trying to get back together. Boom, break up. Shit like that. And then, you know, I got a little bit of both. But more of the single shit because shit, hell yeah. I got more of the single side for sure, for sure. What's the Only child or? Hell no. I mean, how many brothers and sisters you got? I got one sister. I got seven brothers, six brothers. Oh shit. Sean, Nuggy. I mean, me, me, Nuggy, Dino, yeah. J1, Put, Troy, Yarell. Yeah, got six brothers. Damn, and like, are you like middle, oldest, youngest? Or? I'm, uh, I damn near, I'm almost the middle, for real, for real. Yeah, okay. I'm almost okay. the middle. I got what, four older brothers, and I got two Cause it's seven. Brothers. It's seven boys, so yeah, it's yeah. kind of odd number to be yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, damn, so that's like kind of a good experience, because like for me, like, I'm the oldest in my in my um, household growing up. I had a little sister, so mm -hmm. we only five years apart. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, I never had like an older brother, then like another younger brother and shit mm -hmm. like that. You know, it's I like, all of that shit. you know, you got a brother that, that teach you some shit that you can teach your other brothers and shit like that and pass yeah. on and build a bond and everything. Like, yeah. I know that shit just came in. That, dope. Shit, that shit ain't no joke though, for real. Like, you come in the world with shit like that. That's really all you got for real. Like, you know, family for real. Uh, siblings and shit like that. Yeah. No, no doubt. Shit no be doubt. everything for real. So, no, like, no sports, just nothing before rap. You was just a regular kid, no video no, games, like, or nothing. I used to like playing video games and shit like that, but I had so many brothers to share that shit with that I didn't even get to have my way for real, to be honest. Like, <laughs> niggas taking the joystick, oh, it's my turn. To, you know? So, yeah, yeah, especially in the PS2 days. Man, like, what? The PlayStation 2 days, it was over. <laughs> we had, we had. Our parents used to buy us everything. Nintendo's all the way down to Xbox, PlayStation. And you name that shit, we probably had that shit type shit. But like, yeah, I ain't really give a fuck too much about playing the game that much when I was a kid, for sure, for sure. Like, I was more outside as a little boy, like running mm -hmm. around the neighborhood, playing tag type shit. Outside, flipping, jumping off garages and shit like that. All that type of shit, like. No, I just remember shit like that back in the day. Niggas was definitely flipping off the garages and shit, man. But what? 
Fuck that. I was fat. Kind of I was fat when I was younger. I wasn't trying that shit. I just do cartwheels and shit off and shit off the grass. <laughs> that nigga say, I'll try to hang with you niggas, but. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I'll let that out. Yo. I ain't stupid, love. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I done seen some niggas crack that shit just trying to. Copycat, jump off the garage and flip and shit. Right. I done fucked myself up flipping so, shit. So, anybody like in the household was like doing like music or any had any musical traits or anything they did in their past or anything? Nope. Like, not grandparents or nothing? Uh, my mom used to say, my granddaddy and she, my granddaddy and, and them used to sing and shit like that. Like, like she said, that's what they used to do type shit, get blowed and sing and shit like that. Oh, your granddaddy said they used to do that shit? My mama said, Said my granddaddy used to do that shit. Like, <laughs> get bold, sing, shit like that. Facts. Man, it's so crazy because you know, like, all the shit the artists back in the days do is still translate and hangs down to the day, bro. Like, even no matter what genre of music it is, it's still the same shit, the Facts. same lifestyle, damn near. Facts. You know, it's just some artists just takes the shit to extreme levels and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. So, what, what made you get into music, though? Oh, shit. Shit, when I was a little nigga, I ain't gonna lie, we was already listening to the Hot Boys and shit like that, like, all of that type of shit, so, you damn, we was down there rapping that shit, like, we was, we, we was rappers, so, that rap shit was so fucking normal, jumping into that shit, I ain't know what it was, for real, I was just doing it, I know now what this shit is, but, nigga, what made me do that shit was like, just knowing, like, shit, I don't know how to do so many things, I quit playing basketball, I was trying to hoop and shit, I'm like, fuck this hoop and shit, I was in what, like, 10th, 9th grade, Quit playing basketball. I'm like, man, I'm about to start doing this rap shit or something. Mm -hmm. like, I'm about to start doing that type of shit. And hey, what year was that? Like 10th grade and stuff? That shit was like. Two, 2012 or some shit? 2012, yeah, okay. 2012, 2011. Yeah, okay. Some shit like that. So, like, um, back in 2012, I know the Detroit music scene, that's almost the. That's the golden point. point. That's I the, believe 2013 was like the golden era of Detroit rap music. Like, of yeah, our generation. Yeah, because T.M.E. signed Dope Boys for like, sure. Like, no, I feel up. like they was already out, but it's just like the younger generation of kids, like our A's and stuff. Like, you had Pablo Skywalk in that first. You yeah, had Stunt yeah, Hard. Yeah, exactly. You had yeah, Gang Gang, gang later on in 2014. Exactly. You yep, know, yep, it was just like everybody was just rapping, getting their yep. feet wet and everything. Yep. So, like, in 2012, you know, like I said about Detroit, it was just like, it was hard to find studio and stuff back then too because it was like nowhere to really find one unless you do it by yourself at home or something right. that's how so, i started off fucking around at the crib right i was just about to get into that like yeah. this, so did you have to uh, so you said you started at, uh, at home yep start off at the crib but we ain't had no we ain't had the real shit but we had some imax and shit so we went up on a garage man fucking around just garage man up. yeah so by the time we went to the studio to spend money we was like sharp as a knife type shit so Mm. So how long was you, uh, you know, making music on your own before you went to the studio? Mm, about a fucking, about a year and some change, for sure, for sure, about a year and some change. Mm. So I want to talk about, um, you said about a year and a change, this is the next question is going to get up to about, you know, you... And a group of guys used to go by 7672? 7262. 7262, yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, 7262, like back in 2013 and everything. Yeah. You know, uh, how did that all come about? Yeah, me and Mojo, we had, we created that shit on some, you know, we've we been we been on some shit like, oh, this is what we know, we've been to us saucy and what's not, you feel me, since there's some little teenagers and shit. But yeah, we came over that shit and we were teenagers for real. Just me and Mojo too, for real, for real. And Mojo is your brother, right? Yeah. Yeah, my brother. We are brothers and cousins for real. Like the whole seven two six two, that shit, brother. So who was all the all members in seven two seven seven six six two? Uh, who was all members? Really, like people don't nobody know for real. Like I'm one of the me and Mojo Troy. We mm -hmm. the only few that done got any type of love, fame, or buzz type shit. So it's like niggas that don't even ain't even have a rap name for real. You know? Yeah. Like, really, just me, Troy, and Mojo for real.